When I was foreign minister, I visited Iran. And in the holy city of Qom, I called on an old, on a grand ayatollah. After an hour's conversation, he bid me farewell and he said, may you find what you seek. May you find what you seek. Those words continue to play in my mind and I think these words will remain with me till my final moments. May you find what you seek. Because the question is, what do we seek? What do we seek? Fame, money, fortune, good health? But we can't take the wealth with us. Good health is important. Do we have time for other people? When I was health minister, we had a very serious discussion about Down syndrome. They are not often seen in public life. Sometimes families are embarrassed by them. And today, young couples take tests to decide whether or not to abort the fetus. In the old days, they had to take amnio, the amniotic fluid, which is a dangerous procedure. Today, a blood test will do. I was troubled when a young friend said, it's been three months and I'm happy to tell you that my wife is pregnant. I did not want to tell you earlier because she was going to take the test first. The implication being that if the test showed that there's a high probability of Down syndrome, they would have aborted the child. Now, as a health minister, we've got to look at practical realities because resources are finite. One of my women officers said, I have a Down syndrome child. She is very loving. You know, I did not think of Down syndrome in those terms, that they can be very loving. In Singapore, there is a Catholic center where they have a restaurant where Down syndrome kids serve. And the people who go there are very patient, and this is a nice feeling. When we look after one another, when we enhance one another, we enhance ourselves. When we diminish the other person, when we take pleasure in making them feel small, we diminish ourselves. So whether we are employers or employees or colleagues, it's always important to think in terms of how the other person feels, what his hopes are. Can we enhance, enhance the other person? If we are, we enhance ourselves, and as importantly, we enhance the group, and the group becomes more productive. And sometimes the morale of the group is very dependent on how we treat those among us who are sick, who are fallen, who are deformed. That somehow because they remind us and we help them, so we relate to one another in a special way. So what do we seek? We seek meaning in life. We seek fulfillment. And that's an inward journey. But that inward journey, in the end, has to be expressed in our relationship with other people with our parents, with our siblings, with relatives, with our teachers, our friends, with strangers, with those with whom we are divided politically, religiously, or ideologically. So I wish all of you a fulfilling and an abundant life. Thank you.